All right, guys, here in Box Race 10.43 p.m. Eastern Time on the 16th, we are breaking our last Jumbo 2023 Series 1 Baseball Jumbo Case 4. Good luck to you. And I'll get pricing, guys, but I'll probably post the two hobbies tonight just to get a head start. Give me about within a half an hour after the break. Once they fill, they will break. All right, Troy, have a good one, Bob. All right, we got Griffey on the jumbo. I guess they put more color in the silver packs. They used to have a ton of color in this stuff. Got Tyler Freeman, Vlad Guerrero Jr., Willie Mays, and Jackie Robinson. We got Bobby Witt, Anthony Rizzo, Will Clark, and Robin Yachts. Anyone know what's coming out next for baseball? Is it Inception? It's usually Inception after this, but I, I haven't looked. I haven't got a clue. Hopefully it's something soon. I hate not having product in. They want me to reorder everything from last year for like the same, same price blowouts asking for it. Like, no thanks. All right, we got Brad Keller on the gold foil. We got William Dames to four ninety nine. One two punch for the Braves and Juan Soto thirty fifth. Alright, we got Roberto Perez foil, number two, 2023. We got a Jeff Jeffrey Springs, and we're starting off with a Jeter Downs for the Red Sox. Going to Michael. He was a Red before, wasn't he? Big prospect for the Reds. At one point. We got Randy Johnson on the Aces, and Ezekiel Duran on the 35th. Troy was the first person I think I ever did a trade with on uh, Facebook. That's how long I've known him for. Long time. Shit, what else is that other empty box? That was a long time ago. Yeah, it is a horrible sig. He got lazy. McClanahan on the gold. We got Miguel Cabrera to 4.99. Problem is, they got to sign so much crap, man. <laughs> One, two punch for the Yankees. Garrett Cole, 35th. These guys are young, man. They just want to go out and party. <laughs> <coughs> you got to understand it being their age. Corbin Burns in the foil. And half of them don't even know how to um, do cursive, they weren't taught it. All right, we got uh, Suzuki on the City Connect. I hope one of these be a bat knob. I don't think they have any bat knobs in this though. Keeps looking like it every time. I haven't seen that one. Garrett Cole, Aces. I think Vince Millay had the worst auto ever. Sonny Gray for the Twins on the 35th. Vince Millay, uh, 
on the Browns back in, what was it, 2014, 2015 contenders? His is probably by far the worst auto I've ever seen in my life. Aaron Ashby. And then he actually started to play good, and they were selling like crazy. We got Mookie Betts for the Dodgers in the blue border. We got Trout and Morrell, 35th. Single V, really? That's horrible. Anyone can forge that shit. I can even verify that. <coughs> Certain V does. <laughs> Ian Hat, gold foil. We got uh, Falefa, number to 2023 for the Yanks. Eric Davis and Jeff Bagwell in the 35th. I'll have to look it up. We got a uh, Gabriel Moreno foil. Pick your shot of Rushman. Aaron Judge. Greatest hits. And Brett Batty. Rookie. 35th. Alright, we got Albies Gold Foil. There's Abe Ramirez in the club. Nolan Arenado to 30, or 35th. We got Wild West. It's going to be uh, Walk of. Who's that? Padres? Yeah, Padres in the foil. Number to 199, we have a Johan Duran. We got a Jose Ramirez for the Guardians. One of Jeff. Sean Manaya. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Trouty. One of the greatest hits. Cabrian Hayes, 35th. I don't know if I have a favorite autograph. Probably Griffey's. We got Rasio Iglesias in the foil. Juan Soto, number to 2023. Albert Pujols on the greatest hits. And Acuna, 35th. That's it for box one. Current wise, I don't know if I have one. I'd have to think about that one. It's been a while since I've seen a nice autograph of a player. That's current. We got Verlander. Probably Kershaw. I like Kershaw's auto. At least we'll have Marion Rivera's too. His is nice and clean. Alright, Bo Jackson, Ozzy Smith, Bo Bichette, and Nick Prado. We got Aaron Nada, Mark McGuire, Blade, uh, Caleb Killian. Really? I think I think of all time that my favorite was always Ken Griffey Jr. So I love I love this decay in the in the G. <clears throat> but how long will that last though? You know what I mean? Jason. Once if he starts signing too much, it'll get worse. Unfortunately. He's not a good player, so he's not signing as much. <laughs> Guys got to sign over and over and over. They just get tired of it. I mean, they shouldn't. They're getting paid to do it. You know what they're getting tired of, but. Oops. All right, guys. We're on box two. Sorry about that. Let's put my drink down and hit the cord.
right, we got Gunnar Henderson on the foil. We got a uh, Kyle Schwarber for Pick Your Shot. Alec Manoa. Schwarber's a good one if you can get that. Cortez in the 35th. Of the League and Homers last year. Uh, Nolan's getting a little shaky now. He's starting to get a little shaky. He's getting up there in age, though. I, I don't blame him. Just like Hank Aaron always had a beautiful signature. It got bad. Oh, we got another one of those things. Uh, Cardinals gold foil. Look. How rare are these? We've got two of them tonight. Number one derby champ. So we'll do one for each. Each case here. Three and four. All right, one-two punch for the Braves. Yeah, Javier Baez, 35th. As soon as Chad said they were rare, I was like, watch us hit one in the next case. <laughs> Nesta Cortez on the foil. The 499, we have a uh, Kyle Bradish. And we got a Rhino, number two, 199. He's got a nice sig too. Gonna Thomas. Yeah, Stan the Man's went downhill big time right before he passed. Pedro Martinez Aces and Suzuki thirty fifth. Real Muto Gold Foil. We got Travis Swaggerty to 2023 on the gold. One two punch for the Yanks and Calkin Jr. 35th. I don't know which one. I, I don't remember those ones. We got Libertori on the gold. Zach Thompson to 2023. One two punch for the Cardinals and Paul Goldschmidt 35th. Yeah, I always liked Ryan Sandberg's. Him and Jeter's were good for the loops. We got Zach Thompson on the gold foil. I don't know what's on that card? Weird. Hey, Alex Bregman, number to 299 on the black. Sammy Sosa, 30 to 30, and Corbin Burns, 35th. What time is it? It's not even 11 yet. Sorry I started so late, guys. I really wanted to do it earlier, but I had some things going on. And I had the internet, or the damn power go out, so I had no clue to reboot my computers, and they take forever. Josh Smith on the foil. Ready, Riley Green on the Greatest Hits Blue. And we got Steel Walker for the Texas Rangers. Man, centering on that is terrible on the back. Look at that cut. That is horrible. Stay on the front, too, actually. Going to Jeff. I don't remember the Musial's Leaf set. I don't remember that one. Probably if I seen it. We got greatest hits of Freeman and Salvador Press 35th. I'll tell you what, Leaf killed Pete Rose, man. His autos are junk now. They had so many come out in that product. And then he started signing a lot more. His, it's a shame. He's one of the best players of all time. Carlos Carrasco, gold foil. Number to 300. We got Jordan Lyles for the O's. Jeff Bagwell, 30-30, and Jackie Robinson, 35th. Pete Rose, you give him a beer and he'll sign you an autograph. That's all he does. We got Goldschmidt on the foil. We got Salvador Perez in the City Connect for uh, Kansas City going to Chad. I think in Vegas he signs like twice a week at a, at a, at a shop, doesn't he? At a certain shop. I think he co-owns it. He's a dick anyway. Brett Batty, greatest hits. Otani, 35th. Even though I got a bunch of his stuff hanging on my walls. Like, he's still a dick when I met him. 
Jersey got signed by him. I refused to hang out because he was an asshole. We got Jordan Montgomery on the foil. We got a number to 75, Miguel Cabrera. Very nice for the Tigers. Shane McClanahan, Aces. And Luis Robert on the 35th. Alright, that's it for box two. Oh, he don't sign for ten dollars at the shows, man. He still wants like sixty bucks plus inscription. I mean, you could buy a jersey for fifty bucks already autographed or cheaper. Oh. <laughs> oh, really? I didn't know all that. We got Trey Turner. There's some store because it was advertised when I, both times I've been out there that he's signing like certain two days of the week. Yeah, but shows he still won sixty to hundred bucks in auto. All right, we got Buxton, Derek Hall, Lindor, and Mookie Betts. We got Ken Griffey Jr. We have a green coming up. Cabrera, Frank Thomas, and Langliers, number two ninety nine. I mean, he was supposed to be big time for the Braves, whatever happened to him. I mean, that, I guess that Chapman trade. Oh, for sure, he's definitely a questionable human. We'd all still bang his wife, though, if we had the chance. <laughs> We all definitely would. Get that Asian persuasion. Oh, now my feed pops back up for me. It only took an hour and a half. You guys think it's strange all these chemical explosions lately on trains and trucks? Pretty, pretty nuts. Past two weeks, there's been a bunch. Yeah, he's arrogant, Jason. Like I said, I, I couldn't stand to do when I met him. One of my favorites growing up, too, but oh well. Alright, we got Cody Clemens on the gold foil. Tyler McGill, number to 499 for the Mets. Come on, stay still. Ready, one two punch for the Guardians. Lily Urias, 35th. <laughs> Something about a weather balloon. They shot the. So they just found they just shot down a. Uh, a regular old weather balloon. All that money on a missile for that. Uh, Pasquatino on the uh, foil because they had a tracking device on it. I think it's funny. All right, we have a Buddy Kennedy for the D-backs, number two, uh, 99, or 199. On the Brian. Ah, my feet. My feet's all over the place on my end. It's crazy. All right, Luis Castillo on the Aces and Carlos Correa, 35th. Mm. Yeah, I'm tired. Mookie Betts gold foil. Been up since the crack ass of dawn. We got uh, Eli Morgan on the 2020 number to 2023. Mookie Betts, 3030, and Wander Franco, 35th. I'm trying to get some sorting done tonight, but I don't know if I'm going to make it. We got a Cunha foil. Ichiro Suzuki on the blue border. And Mike Trout on the relic for the Angels. Uh, going to Dwayne. Yeah, I do both, man. News and sports. Greatest hits of... Um, 
Yastrzemski. You got Manny Machado, 35th. Oh, shit. It's hit me. We got Victor Cortez on the gold foil, number to 99. We got Calb Smith in the cardstock. Mike Chow, 30 for 30, and George Brett, 35th. Definitely hitting me. Where are you at, Jason? You're in St. Louis? A ton of crime out there. There's a ton of crime everywhere, dude, to be honest. We just had, there's no crime in my area. We just had an armed gunman running through the streets, so it happens everywhere. Guardians gold foil, Willie Mays, uh, 20 for 20, and Riley Green on the 35th. He shot two, um, two officers in Baltimore, man. He was on the run for two days and somehow ended up by my house. He was literally right down the street when they caught him. We all had to stay in place and indoors. I was like, what the fuck? I didn't care. I was like, I'm, I'll take the gun from him. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Shane McClanahan on the foil. We got a uh, Nolan Arenado pick your game shot. I thought that was pools for saying this ain't going to happen. We're at 2023. We got Nick Pavetta. Riley Green on the uh, greatest hits. And Vinny Pasquitino on the 35th. It's less than probably three miles from my house where he got caught. 20, 27, 24 year old kid. Whole life is gone now. No, it wasn't a drugs. It was because he uh, was suicidal and the guy, the cop went to check on him and he shot him. Oh, you're saying around your area. And we got druggies. We don't have a lot of drugs. We have a lot of people on drugs. Close by. Uh, gold foil of Joe Barlow. One, two punch for the Angels. Anthony Rizzo on the 35th. But crime-wise, there's like nothing around my house, which is nice. I like that. I lived in areas that had a lot of it for a long time. We got Dylan Cease on the foil, and number 2023, Fernando Tatis Jr. Gold. All right, going to Dwayne. We got Trouty on the connect. It's a nice-looking card. All right, two Trout relics in a row. That means his auto is due, Dwayne, if you're on. It is due. He might come out tonight. <clears throat> All right, we got Shane Bieber on the Aces, Byron Buxton on the 35th. So we did get a nickname tonight, but we haven't gotten any of them other case hits. And we got last night the second case. Home field advantage, and then there's something else. We got Alec Boehm on the foil, Anthony Rizzo on the greatest hits, and Hunter Green, 35th. Yeah. I think he's only done one, Jason. Pretty sure that was his first and only, wasn't it? It was horrible. My thing, man, is wish they stop hiding shit from us. Just let it all out there. Let us know what the hell is really going on. And call it a day. Alright, we got Miguel Cabrera. Yeah, that dress is full of delusion, man. Straight delusion. All right, we got uh, Vaughn Grisham, Nolan Ryan, Max Mayer, and Vasquez. Carlos Correa, Justin Verlander, Chisholm, and Aaron Judge. I 
used to just do mainly sports until the past couple of years. That's when I started look, watching the news more. I watched it growing up, but didn't understand nothing. <laughs> I like 2014, 2015. It really started paying to the news, paying attention to the news daily with the sports. All right, guys, box four. Set a banger here. Wake my ass up. All right, Kyle Hendricks, gold foil, one-two punch for the Phils. Jose Abreu, 35th. Let's get some good ink in this box. I love an autographed relic too. That'd be nice. <laughs> well, we didn't find out either until three days after it started floating across the United States, Jason. <laughs> Michael Chavis on the, <laughs> on the foil. You should have learned just from Facebook. Carlos Correa on the Picker Game Shot. We got a Hunter Green, number to 75. Julio Urias on the Aces. Joey Vada, 35th. We didn't even know it was here either until some civilian took a picture of it and posted it on Twitter. Asking what the hell it was. It was being hidden from us, man. <clears throat> we got Mark Canha on the gold. Sean Green, 30 for 30, and Libertory, 35th. We got Evan Lee foil, number to 2023. We got David Villier. We got Freddie Freeman for the Dodgers on the uh, City Connect going to Dwayne. Greatest hits, we got Byron Buxton, we got Will Clark, 35th. <sighs> she got a great gold foil. Lewis Arias, number to 300 for the Twins. We got a 1-2 uh, punch for the Yankees. And Ricky Henderson, 35th. Dylan Cease in the gold foil, number to 299. We have a Tyler Malley. We got Dale Murphy, 30 for 30, and Chris Bryant, 35th. Come on, Ink, where you at? Hey, Seth Beer uh, on the foil, and we got Patrick Wisdom for the Cubbies. Going to Thomas. Do you guys see that jumbo box? Apparently, some guy opened it and it had like eight redemptions in it. Half of a Tommy Harper and all of them. Yeah, it was uh, for the Cardinals. It was uh, Bob Gibson and somebody else. I don't remember who the other player was, Jason. Number to 10. Bobby Witt on the uh, greatest hits. Bobby Witt, 35th. Bob Gibson and somebody. And then we had Dylan Carlson. I can't remember where that place was. <clears throat> nice card. Bobby Witt Gold Foil. We got a uh, David McKinnon, number 2023 for the A's. One two punch for the Cardinals. And Max Mayer for the Miami. Yeah, Lou Brock. We got a uh, Libertory foil. We got Paul Blackburn. Uh, Paul Blackburn, number to, what was that, 499. And our oldest Chapman for the Yankees. Richard finally gets a Yankees hit. Yankees have been disappointing in this product so far. It's 
means I probably hit big in hobby. Kershaw Aces, Josh Jung in the 35th. Uh, Josh Winkowski on the foil, Sonny Gray on the aces, Don Manley 35th, and that's it for box four guys. <sighs> Alright, number five. Oh, neither are signing no more? They were stickers, so. Probably older ones. My feed's all fucked up tonight. Again, on Facebook. Want me just watch it. I hope it's not doing it for you guys. Joey Votto. I think it's just the wireless and this computer's going out. All right, number five. Well, I know they're kind of dead. We got Otani, Bryce Harper, Alonzo, Jeter Downs. I'm sure Tops hit them up for their contract and got a thousand stickers of each. Sad to say. Miguel Cabrera, Jordan Alvarez, Noam Gorman, and Freddie Freeman. Yeah, Facebook's been acting up. I think it's because everyone's breaking this, man. It's been... Well, I've been seeing a lot of feeds of people breaking this, so... I don't know if it's that or what. My internet's strong. I'm sure they got tons of stickers, man. I'm sure. Love to pull that Jackie cut all the right about now. I bet you that'll be in a hobby. That's usually where you find the cut all I've seen. <coughs> Most of the time they hit in hobby cases. Every time I've hit a cut all they've always been a hobby. I don't think I've ever hit one in a jumbo. Oh, excuse me. All right, we got Devers in the gold foil, George Brett in 2020, Bo Bichette 35th. I'm usually not tired this early, but or this late. I'm usually up for a while. I'm I'm exhausted today. All right, Josiah Gray on the foil, number to 499. We got Shane Langlingers and Christopher Morrell. Thomas will be stroked about stoked. <laughs> I said stroked. <laughs> He'll be stoked about that. There you go, Thomas. Really? I would love to buy all their hockey stickers and make my own custom cards. They'll probably sell them to Fanatics, man, because Fanatics is going to have hockey, too. Greatest hits of pull holes. Ken Griffey Jr. for the uh, Mariners. Fanatics will probably use them on cards if they're allowed to. Cause they bought up her deck out too now. <laughs> he says stroke works. Oh man, the Cubbies guys are all f about Morrell right now. I'm gonna see in the Cubs groups they're sitting there stroking themselves every time they hit them. Jaron Duran Gold, Kay Cavalli to 99 on the paper stock for the Nats. One two punch for the Blue Jays. Sandy Alcantara for the 35th. We got Michael Grove foil next up. We got Bogarts for Boston. Uh, Boston's Michael. Yeah, it's going to ruin everything, dude. You're not going to see a lot of breakers around no more. Unless they sell to us directly. I don't I don't know how I'm going to get anything. My distributor right now is the only distributor that's going to get direct from Fanatics for now. We'll see. Everyone else got cut. 
Even Steel City and guys like that got cut. They're not getting nothing. Greg Maddox and the Aces. It's just wrong, man. It's like... You're not going to sell direct to the consumer for the prices they want. It's just not going to happen. They'll be sitting on that shit. Blowout's sitting on shit all the time. They're, they're expensive as hell. Alright, you got Nick Pavetta on the gold. One-two punch of uh, Dodgers. <coughs> Arizona on the 35th. Max is going to fuck it all up, man. And then we're going to hit a big bubble again, and I'll come back in another 10 to 15 years. That's exactly what's going to happen. All right, we got Ashcraft in the gold. Very nice to 199. Gunnar Henderson on the red. Very nice. We got a 1 2 punch for the Nets. 35th of uh, Wade Bugs. Sage. Uh, Panini already is sold out to him, dude. It won't be till 2024, though. And Leaf, I mean, he, he's getting too expensive, man. His stuff's just not, the value's just not there. It's a shame, but it's just not. People just don't want it. Brandon Hughes on the foil, it's gotten worse in the past two years. Soto and a pick game shot. You got Josh Nowler to 2023. Whenever I open Leaf stuff, I do well on it, but people look at it as if they get one hit, if they're, if they're going to make any money, and it's not going to happen. Jacob DeGrom on the Aces. Greg Max, 35th, but I mean, it's just like any other thing in the world. Yeah, they already got Panini. Panini doesn't switch over until 2024. They already got it. That's when they switched. Tops wasn't supposed to switch to 2024 either. They switched early. For some reason. Seung Kim on the gold foil. Number 300, we got Eric Lauer for the Brewers. 30-30 Amaze and Aaron Judge, 35th. Eventually, Leaf will sell out. I think he will, because he's starting to notice a big dip in his product. Sage and Onyx all that much. No one buys it anyway. As it is. It's a shame because Onyx used to be really good for prospecting. Trout and all of them. Back in the day. Speaking of Trout, we got a foil. And we got 2023, we got Alcantara. We got Alec Thomas for the D-backs. Shitty Connect. One O'Brien. Yeah. But the products he's coming out with, dude, they've been, they've been good, but it's just not affordable no more. Not for what they're selling for on eBay. He, th he overvalues the stuff, unfortunately. Greatest hits of Vlad. We got Buster Posey, 35th. I like Brian as a person, but he's overvaluing. Like, Decadence was overvalued, man. It's an awesome product. I opened five cases of it. I thought I hit really good stuff, but the, the fucking comps are terrible. They're just straight terrible. Look, I got some of the bigger cards I'm holding on. I'm not, I'm not going to sell them cheap. i lose my ass. Got real moot, or, uh, JT Brewbreaker in the foil. 1 2 punch for the Yanks. Number to 299. Ready, Corbin Burns, Aces. Freddie Freeman, 35th. Yeah, some of the Onyx stuff's decent, but reselling is just garbage. All right, last box, guys. Good luck. And we got a Ichiro. Wouldn't that be great if we got one of them boxes with eight redemptions in it? Yeah, Pop Century still sells well, but... It's this year it took a big dip in value. It took a huge dip compared to what it usually sells for. Michael Harris, Libatori, Cal Stowers, and Bregman. We got a uh, Favra, Mike Trout, uh, Pasquatino, and Graham Ashcraft, number to one fifty.
But who says Fnatic's not going to come out with a pop century? You know what I mean? And actually have a license for it. I just think they're idiots. I think they took over at the wrong time. They overpaid for Tops and Panini. Panini and Tops said, screw it. Let's get out of this while we can. I think people are going to go back to just wanting to collect older cards and buy that stuff up, man. That's why I, I sit on that stuff. Because it's what sells. Ooh. Um, it was just a, a ticket stub from the actual concert that they sang at, Jason. People collect those. I hit a couple that actually sold pretty good. In the case, I think I opened one case. Yeah, you couldn't fill in the group. I did pretty well on it. But people were, people were buying them up. It was just the actual ticket stub from the concert. So certain concerts brought more money if it was like a different, like a... You know, a special concert or something. So you gotta do your research on it before you list it. Some people are putting stuff way too cheap. Alright, guys, one left. Let's hit for a big auto here. Wait to post hobby. Might, might wait till tomorrow. No, I'll post it tonight. It just will be a little bit. All right, tough as nails. It's going to be uh, Guardians on the gold foil. One-two punch for the Mets and Chipper Jones on the 35th. I'll let the guys that want to stay awake get first dibs of the teams. It'll be too hobby, though. So the pricing should be around the same. And, well, it won't be less product, less rookies. Max is going to pump this shit out like crazy to make money back for buying the companies. Tanner Rainey on the gold, number 2023. We have a squeaky old, a squeaky, ugh, a Duran, Jimmy Rollins, 2020, and Yelich on the 35th. And since they're keeping Tops and Penny's names, you're going to see a lot of Tops football again. You're going to see Tops basketball. It's going to be even more product, dude. So I'm saying, if they're selling direct to consumer and all of it, Ain't, ain't gonna make it long. It just won't. It's gonna be too much shit for people to be able to buy on their own. Got Carlos Carrasco and his silver. We got a uh, pick your chance to win at Austin Riley. A lot of people are like, I'm a breaker. I got exclusive rights to him. Like, how? Because no, they're not offering it. Not to little guys. Jeffrey Springs, number 25 on the camo. It's the first camo. Bryce Harper, greatest hits. Alex Bregman on the 35th. I don't believe when they say that because I only see them picking like a couple breakers. People that haven't even been around that long but are big time right now. Who, who, just a fad. It won't last. Never does. Corbin Burns in the gold foil, number 2023. We got Tanner Rainey. Yelich, 3030, and Jeter Downs, 35th. Now nah, they um yeah they're getting rid of, they're not giving to a lot of the brick and mortar stores either a few here and there but they they cut a lot. We got J Rod Foil, Jake Cronensworth for the Padres. Go on the mic. It's a shame, dude. I'll tell you those are all the people that are keeping business. They're gonna learn the hard way. Tops and Penny both tried doing direct to consumer on certain products and it, it shit the bed. They had greatest hits. I mean, they do that first up the line stuff, but there's not as much produced. Brendan Rogers, 35th. It's not even a fraction of what's produced on the hobby side. So if they think just because first up the line blows out like that, that they're going to do the same with hobby and everything? No. Whoever's directing the card market in, that, in the Fanatics is just stupid to think otherwise. Dean Kramer on the foil. Number to 199, we got Wander Franco. And we got Vaughn Grisham as our last auto for the Braves. It's going to go to Chris. I could be wrong, but it's been around a long time to understand how it works. And see how it works. Well, the hobby's not going nuts anymore, dude. It's dropped a ton. Joe Musgrove. 
We got uh, Devers in the 35th. It's 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 dropped a lot, man. And just I just know by going to the shows, no one's looking at anything over 100 bucks anymore. Unless they're wannabe ballers that think they're buying big cards to, to show off. It's people aren't investing in it like they were. Chris Bryan on the golds. We got a one-two punch of a blue parallel of the Tigers. Uh, Clayton Kershaw and Greinke on the one-two punch. We got Mookie Betts in the 35th. People are like, oh, I, I just sold a $10,000 card. Yeah, most of them are, are lying or they just had that one customer call looking for that specific card. It's... It's just not there as it was. Falefa on the foil. Number 299. We have Gabriel Moreno. And we got a DeGrom. That's a team patch. That one's number 75 for the Mets. Going to Chris. I haven't seen a sideways one yet. Our economy sucks, dude. Everyone's too busy spending extra money on food. Dude's atrocious right now. Strasburg Aces and Chisholm, 35th. It's everyone struggling on paying for food. It's, it's ridiculous. And gas, you never know what it's going to be. One day you wake up, it's whatever. The next day it's 60 cents higher. I, I, don't, I don't understand it. And then the next day it'll be 40 cents cheaper. It's annoying. Alright, it's dual. Uh, majority owner gets the Mets on that one. Gold foil. There's th two out of three. We got a uh, Dow Strawberry, 30 for 30. Vlad Jr. on the 35th. Starting to fall asleep, guys. I'm getting tired. <laughs> you can tell. Yeah, the Babe Ruth they messed up. That was a big deal, man. See, everyone's just trying to rush the products out, man. Don't pay attention. Sure, it was done on purpose for publicity. Cody Clemens on the foil. We got Caleb Killian, number 299. They're like, everyone keeps talking about Fanatics. What about Panini? Greatest Hits, Manny Machado. Tatis in the 35th. And that's it for Jumbo, guys. Not too bad, but I'm hoping Hobby gives us some bigger hits here. Alright, so we had another one of these home run ch champions, so I'm going to do a random tonight for uh, case 3 and then a random for case 4 on those to everybody in the, that was in the break. We had uh, DeGrom number 75, we had Vaughn Grisham for the Braves, uh, Jake Cronensworth, Alc Thomas, Xander Bogarts, Christopher Morrell, we had uh, Roldis Chapman, Patrick Wisdom, Freddie Freeman, Mike Trout, another Mike Trout. We had Buddy Kennedy, number two, 199. Salvador Perez, Steel Walker. Uh, Ryan Sandberg, number two, 199. We had Jose Ramirez, Suzuki, and Jeter Downs. For our number. We had Cal Killian, number two, uh, 299. All these will be sleeping top of the guys. Gabriel Moreno, number two, 299. Wander Franco, number two, 199. Tanner Rainey, number two, 2023. We had Jeffrey Springs, number 25. Duran, 2023. We had a uh, Graham Ashcraft, number two, uh, 150. Uh, Yankees, one two punch, 299. Alcantara, 2023. Eric Lauer, number two, 300. Greg Maddox, uh, I don't know why I put that in there. We had a Josh Nowler, 2023. Gunnar Henderson, number two, uh, 199. Cade Cavalli to 300, Shane Langliers to 499, Blackburn to 499, McKinnon number to 2023, Tyler Mal number to 299, Luis Arias number to 300, David Villiard number to 2023, Tatis and Pavetta to 2023, Calb Smith to 300, Eli Morgan to 2023, Tyler McGill number to 499, Langliers to 99, Miguel Cabrera to 75, Jordan Lyles number to 300. We had Alex Bregman, number two, uh, 299. We had Zach Thompson and Travis Swaggerty, the 2023. Kyle Bradish, number two, 499. Juan Soto, 2023. Johan Duran, the 199. Felipe, the 223. 
or, or 2023, we have Miguel Cabrera, number to 499, Jeffrey Springs to 2023, and William Dames to 499. All right, guys, appreciate it. All tops should be shipped out to you on Monday. It is a lot to sort, so bear with me. Got four cases now, well, maybe three and a half. <laughs> and then um, I'll post a hobby here shortly uh, for the two cases of that, and that'll be it for top series one. So, all right, guys, appreciate it. Have a good night. Talk to you too, Jason. Appreciate you staying on chatting, bud. Kept me awake. Later, guys.